So here I wanted to see if I could take an image off of the internet or any drawing line image and see if I could convert it into a rubber stamp which I could then use for either fabric um, printing or embroidery in this case which is what I've tried. So I've made two different sizes of this rose that's one and there's the other so they're just a, a slight size difference between them and I've printed them in uh, TPU which is sort of a rubberized rubbery um, extrusion and what I'm going to do is see how well they work so here I've got my silhouette stamping starter kit um, <clears throat> so it's got all sorts of great things in it but uh, what I want for the first part is actually to use the ink and the acrylic plate just to try and make it easier to get a flat pressing. And I'm going to put a little bit of a rubber mouse mat underneath with the soft side up to hopefully allow it to give a better press. So what I'll do is I'll not open this yet, oh, it's wrapped, so we'll take the plastic off, throw this in the bin, <coughs> okay, so let's see how this works on paper. So there are suggestions, try it this way first. Um, or you can try and do it the reverse way, which of course also works. But I must admit it is a little harder to control that way, so I think I like this. Okay, so this is the smaller one. It's looking pretty good. Put the cover back on. And let's see what happens on the paper. So let's try some more ink. It did say on the videos I watched that quite often you do need to uh, prepare the stamp and it, you have to sort of ink it up first before you're going to get a good stamp. So, However, that would be good enough for um, what I ultimately wanted this see if you could actually stamp on this tooling. Mm -hmm. 
it is visible. It's definitely there. I don't know if you can see that a bit. Yeah. So that's actually okay with the mistake I made there with the smudge I can that's it, you gotta learn to be perfect. But it works. So it's possible. Let's see how it looks on cotton. Apparently you just use a baby wipe to get excess ink off. Not sure how firm you need to press, but I'm pressing a little more firmly this time. Okay. Let's see what happens with seersucker cotton. This is a slightly more flat weave than a lot of seersucker. Um, the hills and troughs on some seersucker might make this a little difficult, but let's see what happens. So, in the real world, this would be attached to a flat surface. Except for the fact I moved it, it worked okay. So that definitely does allow stamping. Not the darkest I've ever seen, but works. So that can definitely be used on fabric. So let's try the larger one and see how we get on with this. Let's move this here. Terrible. I mean, it needs a lot more ink, but interesting. So I'll try and get more ink in the middle. quite as black as I would have hoped. So I'm going to have to find some wetter ink, I think. <laughs> 